All right, you guys, welcome back to some more Cafe Stella. We are in Natsume's route. It's been really good so far. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm excited to see where it's going to go. But Nozumi contacted us last night. Not sure what that was about. Something to do with the Shrine Maiden Festival. And then it cut to the next day. So we're going to have to wait and see what that conversation was about. But let's go ahead and continue on. The next day, I managed to wake up in time to attend my morning class at college. Coincidentally, this is the class I have with Shiki-san. Why are you so nervous? Are you still, like, feeling shy about the thing that happened? Which was really great, by the way. I love that. The moment our eyes meet, Shiki-san, most likely remembering yesterday's events, turns red with embarrassment. <sighs> Just embrace it, you know? You were trying to make it into a maid cafe. You wanted to see what it was like. It was just an experiment, okay? Nothing more than that. And it was also really cute to watch. What's up, all the sighing? Yeah, she did drink quite a bit, too. Speaking of yesterday, though. Whoa, 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 don't glare at me like that. I'm not talking about you being drunk. I'm at the Shrine Maiden job I mentioned on New Year's. I will say, the the part with the uh, at the cafe, that was yesterday, right? I'm trying to remember. It seems the situation's changed a bit this year. No, 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 Uzumi's dad said he'd be more than happy to hire you as a Shrine Maiden. But if you're up for it, there's actually a more important job he'd like you to do. Do you have time to talk about the details after this? I know we have work, but this shouldn't take too much time. I want you to come with me to Aikawa Shrine. Okay. Once the lecture was finished, Shiki-san and I made our way over to the shrine, so that I could ask Rokuro-san to explain the situation once again. はじめまして。望みの父の住み初めが Right, that's why I brought Shiki-san with me today. As much as I'd love to help, I don't think I can do it on my own. コウセイ君には昨日話をしたんだけどね。お祭りや正月なんかに屋台が並ぶのは知ってるよね。うちの場合、地元で店を出してる人たちの価格と昔馴染みの人にお願いしてる価格に分けてるんだけど。オッケー
There are a couple convenience stores, a supermarket, and a drugstore that's mainly a residential area. An area that's irrelevant to the local business disputes that have been causing Rokuro-san all the headaches. どうだろう。神聖なんかもあるから早めに解決したいけど誰でもいいってわけにもいかない。そういう意味で、高生君や望みが信用しているこなら申し分ない。急な話なのは分かってる。こちらとしてもできるだけ協力はするつもりだ。
it's like you'll definitely find that here at like kind of american events too but there's always like burgers and and hot dogs there's like real meals that you can buy right i don't really consider very many of these things to be real meals maybe yakisoba for sure i mean noodles are pretty filling but the rest of these are very much more like snacky type things oh. Thinking of asking Suzune san if she had any ideas. Yeah, that's the person I'd ask too. I don't know if you already had plans, though. This is on pretty short notice. Perfect, you're free then. Let's do it. Uh -huh. I feel like that's how a lot of employers would act, like look at it. Like, oh, you're not doing anything, so you must be free, right? It's like, sure, my schedule's free, but it doesn't mean I want to go into work. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what kind of things do you sell back then? I did similar stuff, takoyaki, popcorn, and french fries, I'm pretty sure. French fries, interesting. Not something I would expect to hear in Japan. What about you, Shiki-san? Frozen cakes. Well, she did go to an old girl's school. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I heard rumors about that too. But I never had the money, much less the courage to ask any of the girls out, so I never bought myself one. Once again, Suzune, you are coaching me on something you have no idea about. Well, she did have some experience, you know, in the last route, but not this one. I forgot to ask about that. I'll have to double check later. What about our cream puffs? There's a few adjustments we could sell them for two or three hundred yen a pop. I think they fit right in with the whole street food vibe. Dang, they must be strict there. It's difficult to make something like pasta or omelet rice in a tiny stall, too. Yeah, and I mean, you probably want something that's a little more portable, because people are going to be walking around, they just want to eat it while they're looking at things. Seriously, the rules for this are a lot stricter than I thought, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. It's it's very different than America. Because, like, I went to this, uh, this fair. I, I don't really see a lot of festivals here in America, I see a lot of fairs, right? It's very American. Uh... But, like, at fairs and stuff, you find a lot of that kind of food where you can take it to go and kind of eat it. But there's also a lot of food that you can, like, sit down. And it's, like, like I said, there's, like, burgers and hot dogs and stuff. But also, I've started to see more, like, kind of Asian-y type food. Like, I've seen, like, teriyaki bowls and things like that. Now, do I trust a teriyaki bowl that's in some part of America where there's not a lot of Asians? Probably not, you know? I probably don't. That'd probably be a very weird teriyaki bowl. You know, I, I like to go to the more places to have actual Asians making things because those are the good stuff but I don't know I've, I've noticed that a lot so it's kind of weird that Japan of all places wouldn't have a, like a teriyaki bowl or something or a beef bowl just at a you know a festival wow you had to make it you had to make it in the classroom That'd be weird. That'd be that'd be a food safety thing here. You don't make it in a classroom. I don't know. Well, if we're doing this, we should do it right. I want our stall to be second to none. In fact, I want the other stalls to be jealous of how popular we are. 
If we half butt it, we'll just create more headaches for Rokuro san. Sorry, I know I'm asking a lot. Or we'll just piss them off. <laughs> they were fighting with each other and the whole band of to be pissed off at us. <laughs> well, okay, guys. Glad you're so motivated all of a sudden. Heesh, these two are very competitive. I mean, are we talking about food or are we talking about the uh, the other thing we have here at this cafe, which is cute cats? Yes, we have Mikado. In that case, why don't we just get Shiki-san to serve customers in her maid outfit? Huh? Dang, that would be pretty good, honestly. Surely a cute maid if we draw attention and boost our sales, though. <laughs> what do you mean, messing around? That was a good idea. Gosh. What do you mean? It was a serious suggestion. Wow, they're being so mean. They're just shooting Kosei down. Am I only saying that because I want to see Shiki-san in her maid outfit? Well, maybe. <laughs> But I do genuinely think it would serve as a great way to attract customers. いや、大にはいい。<笑><笑> Ah, so you didn't like my idea. You just wanted to change it, huh? That's why you didn't like it. Ah, it's like a bunny costume, maybe a nurse's outfit. Shame, shame, Suzune. How could you do this to Natsumi? Bunny Shiki, nurse Shiki. Hmm, you know, I think I could actually get behind that. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Oh, I was just waiting to see what her comment was going to be. Okay, chill out, you're scaring me. To be fair, though, this was Suzune's suggestion. We we said, like, a maid outfit, and that's pretty modest, okay? It's not skimpy at all. Suzune's the one that said, ah, let's show some skin, right? I think it would be kind of low-key and appropriate for a shrine, you know? This is supposed to be kind of like a holy sacred place, but... Yeah, but you don't want to, like, diminish your your look, right? You don't want people to associate you with that kind of stuff. That's how I would feel about it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Yes, everyone's on board. Can I go ahead and tell Rokuro-san we'll do it? Oh yeah, we're at work. We should be doing work things, huh? <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> Phew, the day's finally over. I figured, you know what a guy who hurt his back was originally planning to sell out of? The guy who hurt his back was originally planning to sell out of curiosity. Ooh. Well, we're still exploring our options, it's a possibility at least. But since you're not asked specifically, I'd prefer to come up with something unique. Alright, thank you, Nozomi. I know you'll be busy with your shrine maiden duties, won't you? Alright, but don't overwork yourself, okay? Alright, let's do it. I mean, I like when she says a couple stupid things, right? She just feels more relaxed and open about things. Doesn't bother me, honestly. 
No, not really. I just seem, thought it seemed like a quiet place to talk. Let's go, baby. Yes. You cook for me? I mean, I don't want anything fancy. I don't like eating fancy food. No, I'm not doubting your culinary skills or anything, but what exactly are we going to be dining? Where exactly? I would love to see her place, honestly. I'm dying to know. Oh, no. Kosei, stop her. <laughs> Why are you always calling the police? Stop! <laughs> Gosh. She's gonna get us in trouble one of these days. Just a little nervous at the thought of having a girl visit my apartment or vice versa, that's all. Yes. Well, okay, I may have fantasized about a thing or two. At least you're being honest. Oh, I want to see hers. Lame. Uh, you gotta be careful with this guy. Sometimes he doesn't. Don't worry, I never do anything illegal, I swear. Okay, that's not very convincing, but sure. She nods slightly as if to say she already knew. I'm not sure if that means she trusts me or that she doesn't even see me as a member of the opposite sex. Well, whatever. If it means I get to eat Shiki-san's homemade cooking, I suppose I can put up with it. Oh, hey, what are you doing, nose to me? What's up? You over listening into our conversation? You, uh, eavesdropping here? After closing up shop, Shiki-san and I head towards the supermarket. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I'd eat it, sure. I don't hate it, but in terms of favorites, I'd have to say I like curry more. I'm not actually a huge curry person. Uh, I've had Japanese curry. I've had Indian curry, too. I did have a really good, like, yellow Indian curry one time. But, I don't know, curry's not my thing. Too much, too much spices, you know? But that's kind of what it is, so. Just, I guess I just don't like it. But it's like meat in general. Beef, pork, chicken, you name it. Same. Uh, out of those options, I'd probably ask for the ginger fried pork. That sounds really good. Frying chicken's not that much work. You just put a pot full of uh, oil and it's heated up. I guess you gotta bread it too, but... I think I'm in the mood for pork. Yes! Kosei, yes! Thank you. Let's do it. Oh, what the hell is going on? This is the kind of crap married couples do. I mean, we're not even dating, let alone married. We're just friends. But something about chatting like this as we shop for dinner gets my heart a little flutter. Not because I was expecting anything to come of this, but simply because I enjoy spending time together with her. No snap out of it. I gotta rein in my fantasies worthy out of hand. I wanted to end the evening with the cops busting through my door. Honestly, some of my favorite dates with my wife are just, like, grocery shopping. It's, it's nice, it's relaxing, you get to pick out food together. I mean, what's not to like? Deep breaths, this is actually happening. Shiki-san's actually in my apartment. Stop threatening me! Oh my gosh, you're so mean to Kosei. Don't call them just for laughs, I'm sure they're busy. Look, I'm not having any weird thoughts or anything, I'm just nervous, that's all. There's just something strange about seeing you in my room. You are. What is that supposed to mean, huh? No. But these days I do it all myself. I'm a big boy. Since she always used to keep everything clean for me, I can't stand leaving things messy now. Letting junk just pile up means more work you have to clean up later, and I have to spend my days off doing housework. It ends up feeling like I've wasted the day away. Most of the stuff I have is in the fridge or under the sink. I mean, I hope you're not putting spices under the sink. That's where you put your cleaning stuff, my guy. 
After that, it took Shiki-san less than 30 minutes to finish cooking. Arranged on top of the kotatsu table is a plate of ginger-fried pork garnished with cabbage and tomatoes, along with rolled omelets, potato salad, and miso soups as side dishes. That looks good. Since we set the rice cooker to quick cook, the rice is ready right on time as well. I know, I hate how long it takes to cook rice sometimes. I mean, I don't put it on the quick setting, though. I just put it on the regular one. I don't buy it. This has to be delicious. It's a hand-cooked meal by Shiki-san, after all. It doesn't have to be the best food I've ever had. I'm happy just knowing that she made it for me, herself. No, I love miso soup. Oh, and that pork looks delicious. First, I bring my chopsticks to the main dish, the ginger-fried pork. This is great. Your ginger-fried pork is... Oops. It's something else. So delicious. No, seriously, I thought you told me not to expect much, but this honestly tastes amazing. I mean, that's the best food, too, that, like, somebody else made for you and you didn't have to make it yourself. Can't go wrong with that. Though brewesque as usual, the corners of her mouth seem to curl upward ever so slightly. She might have actually been worried that I wouldn't like it. All flattery aside, this is great. It does taste a little different to the ginger fried pork I usually eat, though. I wonder why that is. Oh, I, ah, I know. It's a bit sweeter. Did you use sugar when making the sauce? I know. I wasn't saying it's too sweet. In fact, it's just right. You're pretty good at, good at cooking. Maybe, but it's far from bad. I'd say your taste for seasoning is pretty sharp. I mean, I can say looking at the meal she made, that's more than I would ever make as far as, like, the level of skill required. Well, except for that time you basically drank a cup of coffee-flavored sugar. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yeah, she just loaded up her coffee with sugar. Was it seven did she use? Seven packets? Hey, you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Don't worry about it. Maybe, but I don't think that much sugar is good for you. Not that you drink it every day, but still. But anyways, this is delicious. Makes me want to turn your curry to try your curry or your hamburg steak, too. Hey, don't, don't be telling me that. You're the one who offered to make it. I don't want to hear that from someone who can't eat green peppers. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't eat just straight up green peppers, either. I really do want to try your other stuff, though. After making quick work of the ginger fried pork, Shiki-san and I gather the dishes and begin to wash them side by side. In the meantime, we start to discuss the main topic of our visit today, the stall, though we're not exactly getting anywhere. I think we should go with something as simple as possible. That'll make our job easier the day of. Yeah, but we're not supposed to do that. Maybe Castella cakes are pretty easy to make, too. Sure, why not? That's why stuff like takoyaki is so popular. It's hard to resist the urge when you see them. They're a street stall staple. You mean like osachi or mochi? Want some tangerines? Here. I didn't know tangerines are that um, essential to the experience. Interesting. Now that you mention it, we should probably sell something that warm people up. I don't know. Looking at the outfit she was in on like on that certain screen, I think it's like a, a traditional like what was it? it almost looked like Chinese or something. What if they're gonna sell like bao buns? Needs to be something people can eat while walking though. And what about roasted sweet potatoes? That said though, it'd probably be a lot of work. Necessary equipment aside, we'd also have to find a sweet potato supplier, then do some taste testing as well. 
We have to try out the different varieties of potatoes and stock up on as many as we need, however. But I'm not sure that we'll, what we'll do with the leftovers if we don't sell out. Plus the variety of potatoes we use for roasting might not be the best for making sweets either. There's also the fact that people really that most people peel the skin before eating, which might be a problem if the shrine grounds ended up littered with potato skins afterwards. That would be a little bit weird. I do think they'd sell pretty well though. Ooh, they should do elote. That would be good. Mm, I always see it in the hot food section of the convenience store, yeah. But speaking of convenience store, what about Chinese meat buns? Yes. That sounds good. Kaiwa Shrine isn't very far from Cafe Stella, so we could even use the store's kitchen to make them. Chinese meat buns. Come to think of it, Shiki Sun would look pretty good in a China dress, too. <laughs> what did I do? Your eyes are scaring me. No, no, I was just thinking of ways to make our stall more successful. Yeah, that's it. No, no. <laughs> Look, okay, I wasn't gonna make you wear one, I just thought you'd look good in one, that's all. Yeah, there's a difference, right, guys? No way, imagine how pretty she'd be. No doubt I'd make our stall one of the most popular ones among customers. But alas. I'll walk you back. Because, you know, I'm a gentleman. That's what we do, right? It gives us time to talk. I'll let Rokuro-san Roku know what we decided today. It's already late, so it'll, it'll be less rude if I call instead. It's all good. I was planning to do it myself anyways, if I had to. Or er, not exactly. The Sumizomis have just done a lot for me, so I'd like to return the favor if they need my help. They've always treated me like part of their family, but they've never really come to me with help like they are now. I want to show them what I'm capable of, although that may be just my pride talking. If anything, I should be the one apologizing for having you help me with all this. I know you really wanted to wear that Shrine Maiden outfit. Yeah, I don't know, Kose. That sounds like something you would want her to do. Excuse me. Well, at any rate, with Christmas coming up soon, too, it's going to be a busy holiday season for us. Alright, see you tomorrow. Oh, we actually get to see her room. Cool. Uh, different than I thought it would be. Not, not what I was expecting. Today was the first time I've ever cooked for someone else, and also the first time I've ever been to a guy's house. Actually, come to think of it, this is the first time I've even been to a friend's house. Turning on the hot water faucet, I pull out my phone as I wait for her water to fill up the bath. I to say thanks for dinner. It's delicious. Thanks. Good night for real this time. Oh, so she's thinking about feeding him something else, huh? I gotta say, Natsumi is probably my favorite person so far that's been a chibi. Like, look how adorable she looks. Just like, just staring at her phone. She looks so cute. I think that works. We're co workers, so I can be more casual and friendly with him. In that case. <laughs> Please do that. Please. Ah, no. Yes. She's overthinking it too much, guys. Overthinking it. She should just go for it. If I had sent a text like that, he'd probably think there was something wrong with me. I just wanted to reply normally, the way I usually talk to him, but I've never texted anyone before, a girl or guy, so I have no experience to use. What do you mean you've never texted anybody? How long ago you've had a phone? I mean, I pretty much only text people. No, I, I, I do call, like, sometimes, but... 
I try to just text if it's not like that important. Maybe I should just reply with a sticker, or maybe not. I've never bought any. But you have to buy your stickers too? Toss my phone onto the bed. Takamine kun said goodnight anyway, so he ended the conversation himself. There shouldn't be any need for me to reply. I've still got time before bath's ready, so why not? I'll reply to him. Sounds a bit on the polite side, but we're just normal friends, nothing more, so it should be fine. Ah uh, yes, nothing more than friends. I'm sure that won't change. I don't want to rack my brains over this any longer, so I'll have to do. <laughs> Suppose that's just how grateful I am for all he's done for me. Lots of gratefulness in this game, I've noticed. Like, everyone's grateful for each other, right? And that seems to be how uh, things progress. From the menu to helping us open Cafe Stella. Then making sure we attracted a ton of customers and finding such incredible employees to keep our business running. <laughs> It is cool to see her, like, acknowledge this, though. Like, Kosei's done a lot, especially for older girls. Like, he's he's really tried to make them all feel comfortable and, and welcomed. Uh, he's a little bit perverted sometimes. That's that's absolutely true. But, um, yeah, I, I really do feel like he's done a lot. So, I, I think the girls should appreciate him. Sure, Takamine kun has his own reasons for helping us, but even still, it feels like we were relying on him a bit too much. Wish there was some way we, I could repay him. I'm taking this street stall thing very seriously. Naturally, that was the plan all along. But if I were to really pull out all the stops, then... Oh boy. We all know she's gonna do it. So that's the best place. Is either in the shower or taking a bath. That's the best place to think about things. I've already gotten permission to make them in the kitchen here, so I was thinking we could refrigerate them and then reheat them on the stall to sell. Yeah, sounds good. That way they're like freshly cooked. I have curiosity, have you ever made dough for a meat bun before? Are you sure you haven't made it before? She just completely described how to make it from, from you know, memory. <laughs> well, anyways, I'd like to try making some. Do you think you could help me? Don't make that face. How come you're not excited to make these? Yeah, sounds fair. Okay. Thanks, that was quick. That's all for now. You've been a huge help. We've got Suzune. Son helping in the kitchen, so we've got things covered on that end. She might complain, but she's doing everything she can to support us. Yeah, it'd be impossible for me and Shiki san to handle alone, but everything else I can handle. Wonder what May's doing. We haven't heard uh, if she's gonna help or not. Well, yeah, I guess so. She said she was doing it for the experience. Huh. Wonder if Mikido knows something we don't. I do, I'm heading over to the school now. Uh, I don't remember you ever being so considerate. That is true. Alright, yeah, whatever you say, Dad. End up catching a cold, the repercussions will be much worse than usual. Naturally, that means I've been making a point of washing my hands, gargling mouthwash, and warming myself before I sleep. Okay, oh, well, thanks. 
Oh, I better hurry up and get changed. I've got third and fourth period classes after this. Or so I thought. Then fourth period got canceled. I wish the professor let us know earlier. Or maybe they suddenly fell ill or some emergency came up. Hey. Oh. <gasps> Hirito, what's up, my guy? No girls, huh? It's okay, Hirito. I know your character well enough to know that if, if you're disappointed, it's probably about girls. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Same as usual, I'll be at work helping your sister. It's not easy, yeah, but I don't hate it. Not like I have anything else to do on Christmas anyways. Oh yeah, apparently 4th period is cancelled today. Yeah, it happens. You wake up thinking it's just a small cold, but then it gets worse and worse throughout the day. As we're chatting, a faint commotion suddenly begins to spread throughout the classroom. For some reason, most of the voices seem to be male. Oh, it is. Even though we're in different majors, this is indeed Shiki-san peeking into our classroom. But why? We don't have any classes together today. Oh, okay. I don't know, though. Seems kind of self-centered to assume that. It'd be pretty embarrassing if I was wrong. But despite my doubts, her gaze falls upon me. At the same time, the students around us turn to stare at me as well. While the girls seem mostly curious, the boys' eyes are full of animosity. I hope I don't get killed. Here, just like, don't, don't drag me into you guys. I don't want them to look at me that way. I don't want to die. I'm a poor virgin boy who's never seen... Who's never even kissed or held a girl's hand. I mean, I did get to see a girl in her underwear once, though. Crap, that might be the reason. Might be reason enough for these guys to stab me to death. Despite my fears, however, Shiki-san calmly approaches me. So, you are here to see me. I was just uh, gonna go work at the cafe. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't mind, I guess. If they're at okay at work without me, then I don't have any reason to refuse. But where exactly are we going? I ask half praying she doesn't mean what I think she means. <gasps> Let's go! Yes, okay. You know, work work's overrated. Let's let's go. Huh? <laughs> oh frick. Everybody in the room just got pissed off. They felt the head of confusion, angry gas erupt around me. On <laughs> second thought I probably shouldn't. Because it'll I'll be brutally murdered if I do. Kosei, be a man for once in your life. Just shut up, okay? Just go. I don't have any plans. No, I'd be happy to go with you. Oh, tell these guys to shut up. What the hell do you guys want me to do then? After dropping that bombshell, she walks out of the classroom, leaving me to the ravenous wolves. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. Uh, that's me getting some girls. What you guys doing? Freaking getting no women. The guys in the class start to close in on me. Among them, even people I don't particularly know. God help me. Okay, guys, let's just all just calm down. You're jumping to conclusions. Chiki-san and I are acquaintances, sure. I won't deny that, but that's the extent of our relationship. You have no reason to be jealous. Think back. She's she said she supposed she'd call it a date. That's supposed to be her way of making a joke. <laughs> Your final words. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear that line said to me in her life. <laughs> that dude. <laughs> that dude was ballsy to say that. He's threatening me in class. Tell him here, tell you know the truth. Tell him what kind of relationship we have. 
一緒に食堂で食事をしたり、並んで授業を受けたりする程度の普通だな。Here, so you're not helping my guy. Stab me. 事実は事実だからさ。前に見たあの写真、お前か<笑> Why is there a picture photograph? Um. <笑>運動場<笑>山の方がいいだろう。Bruh. 車出せるやついたっけ The mountains are better. とりあえず、お前らが思ってるような特別な関係ではな塩山は何か知ってるのかよ。最近、シキさんが働いてる店が噂になってるのは知ってる。ああ、パンケーキとかが有名な店なんだろう。話くらいは聞いたことあるぞ。昴生はそこでバイトしてるんだよ。さっきのデートってのもそのバイトに関することだろう ?Yes, exactly what he said. バイトっていう時点で We just work together. It's not like we spend a lot of personal time. <laughs> I love that just really quick flashback. Don't worry about it. 相手は四季夏目ここの激強用だぞ。こいつと何かあると本当に思うか<笑>バイトかそういやさっきも店がどうこう言ってたな。いや、そんなのバイトならおのずと触れ合う機会も多いから今回みたいなこともあるのかちなみにバイトの募集は<笑> ?No。募集してたら俺が先に応募してるよ。<笑>残念だ。先にそのバイト先の存在を知ってたら。I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm still muttering jealousy. It looks like the guys are finally starting to calm down. I'm going to go to the next one. No! 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 Although I had to endure a bunch of questions and nasty looks from others, I was eventually forgiven and spared a grisly murder. And once class finished, I hurried to the front entrance where I was to meet up with Shiki san. That was exhausting. Oh, hey. Well, I had a close call with death just a while ago. Uh, every class is apparently dangerous when you're involved. Or not in that sense. She tilts her head quizzically, apparently completely unaware of the pandemonium she's caused. Never mind, anyway, where are you wanting to go? Can you repeat that? Well, let's freaking go! Why are we standing here? You know what, guys? I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you all in suspense of their first date. Or, first date. I mean, they've kind of gone out together on what I would call a date, but I don't know. Maybe that's just coworkers meeting up. But um, I think we're just gonna we're gonna stop it here because I'm gonna try to do the whole date, and then hopefully the festival will be right after that, and we can get both those done. I think that'll be good. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. It, it's starting to get good. I like it. Uh, and apparently we're gonna be buried up in either the mountains or the field, so we'll have to see which one ends up happening. But anyways, guys, hope you're enjoying. Have a good one.